wish there were words to say how important this is, and there really aren't. We have a very large number. It's in the five to six hundred uh, every year by the time the school year ends of children who are either doubled up, which means they're living in someone's basement, uh, they're in a shelter, possibly in a tent situation, maybe couch to couch, or an unaccompanied minor or an emancipated teenager. So we as a community should be supporting these children, but as a school board member, it is a, a, one of my, what I call one of my babies. I've really taken this on because these are the children who deserve the same care that everybody else who walks in our schools deserve and to let them come in on the first day with a brand new backpack and their brand new supplies and the pencils that have not been opened and they haven't been sharpened and the things that other kids get to enjoy that we all take for granted certainly not on purpose something we don't think about so what we try to do is just show the community this is a need and let me tell you Spotsylvania always responds it's wonderful you've said in the past yeah. that there are homeless kids in every school every school every school your child knows someone and I, I I think people do not believe that, but it is absolutely true. Every school that we have is housing homeless students, and some of them are going to hotels every single night. I know of one particular case that was going to a hotel, and not even the hotel that you and I might think of, mm -hmm. like a Hampton Inn or something. We're talking a hotel with cinder block walls. There may not be toilet paper provided in that hotel. So it's not even about them getting a hot meal. They first have to survive, then they worry about their food. Then if you think about how far down the list for survival the pack of pencils is, I mean, not only is that not on their radar, they can't. They're living not day to day. They're living minute to minute. Uh, they don't, and, and I'm talking minute to minute in the way that they don't know if they'll be in a different hotel by tomorrow night. You see the stress that families and kids go through that they don't have this stuff in the classroom as a teacher. I do see it, and it, it, it can be a struggle. But once a student has what he or she needs, then they can start to feel successful. And, and then um, hit their mark and keep going from there. You talk a lot about the need to get kids off and reading and getting the basics early on. This, this helps. It's hard to get the basics when you don't have some of the basics. Ab absolutely. And the most important er thing that our young parents can do right now is to start reading to kids and talking with them and having conversations so they build a vocabulary. And if they don't do that, they're a couple of years behind other children when they start kindergarten, believe it or not. So this is uh, one of the ways we can reach kids and, and parents and talk with them and, uh, and talk a little bit about what their responsibilities are and how we help them in the school. We love every year to see more and more businesses get involved with this event. This year we have the Lions Club and we have Centera Pratt Medical Center and of course Spotsylvania County Schools and um, Mary Washington has been involved and also the Fredericksburg Sport and Health and we just love to see more businesses get involved every year to help our students. Well eventually these students are all going to be in the workforce and you're 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 helping you're helping them now but also you're helping the county later definitely and I think as a business in this area um, we definitely um, have a responsibility to help educate our students because they are the future of our workforce if I can't give today Yes. Can I drop it off at the school board Ab office? Absolutely, but let me tell you the better place to drop off. We have a very special thing in Spotsylvania called the Treasure House. It is direct, you take the entrance directly across from the school board office in Massaponics High School. Massaponics has two entrances. Take the one as if you're going to the football field. When you drive down to the football field on the left, you will see Treasure House. It's clearly marked with a donation box on the front. So it's so simple. You don't even have to call and set up a time. You can do it at the outside.